This is a big India today scoop on BJP's second Lok Sabha list. Ex Karnataka Chief Minister Basavraj Bamoy to contest Lok Sabha polls from Haveri Gada constituency. This comes after BJP's Central Election Commission Committee held its second meeting on Monday to decide on the party's candidates for the Lok Sabha elections. Prime Minister Narendra Modi attended the meeting. He also went through the list of probables for several states to make final choices. According to sources, several sitting MPs can be axed from the BJP list. This includes Anand Hegde, GM Siddeshwara, Ramesh Jiga Jinaji, Pratap Simha, among others. Hegde was also issued a show cause notice by the BJP for his remarks over the constitution. Suspense continues to loom over tickets to certain BJP biggies like Menika Gandhi, Varun Gandhi, VK Singh, Hans Rajans, Nitin Gadkari, as well as Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh. Meanwhile, sources have told India today that Karnataka MP Anand Hegre is not going to be fielded. Dakshin Kannada MP Nalan Kumar Kathil, who is not expected to get the poll ticket this time, has said that he can't, he can't even sweep and mop the floor if the party wants him to do that. Let's listen in. Party Rashtriya Nayakuru Yalla Yochana Karanda Madikom. I came out there. Saja, then Nano Sagatistan, Nando, Irtakan, the Parikal Ponegadan, Tadre, Nirantarbagi party in Intan Iragba, Hosopur Bartar, Bakalan, Lirtar, Rastri and Nakara, Yochenik Badra, Kelsamad or Novella, party and Elata, Kelsamad or Gudisar, Gudisor, or Sor, Karti Kelsamad like a role. In Valendi, a fold continues to grow. It is officially Jagannath versus Jagan Jagannath rather versus BJP TDP Janasena in Andhra Pradesh. BJP TDP Janasena finalized a seat sharing pact on Monday. BJP is fighting on six Lok Sabha seats. TDP is contesting on 17. Pavan Kalyan's Janasena gets two in Andhra Pradesh. Announcing the seat sharing formula, TDP chief Chandra Babu Naidu said the alliance is paving a way for a brighter future. Amid this, BJP is also in talks with BJD in Odisha and with Akali Dal in Punjab. AMMK Supremo TTV Dinakaran has also declared that his party would unconditionally support the BJP. Expressing confidence that Prime Minister Modi would be elected the Prime Minister for a third term. We are uh, sure that uh, the results would be good. And uh, of course, uh, this alliance has been there earlier as well. Uh, but now we are kind of uh, striking the umbilical cord again. And uh, already the seats uh, discussion has been happening. And once there is a, a, a definite uh, uh, res resolve on which seats does BJP get or which seats does the, do the other two parties get, I think we'll start a campaigning together. And we are sure that we will be able to uh, form the government in 2024. After a several number, I mean, number of meetings with the top uh, BJP leaders, <coughs> this uh, alliance has come together. So right now, what do you think would be the agenda? TDP is having its own uh, manifesto. Will, will it be a joint manifesto? Will it be a joint agenda for the elections? Or what, what would it be for the BJP? Special? Well, as far as the TDP and Jensen is concerned, they have already struck the chord and uh, they've already started working together. And BJP is just uh, now coming on board. So now we will have to sit down once the seats are finalized and there is a conclusive decision on which seats uh, should we be taking and uh, the seat sharing. I think then BJP will uh, coordinate with them, sit with them, and then finally come out with, with a manifesto or whatever. The Andhra Pradesh has gone back 30 years during the rule of Jagan Mohan Reddy. First, our intention and the purpose of alliance is to bring back the Andhra Pradesh in a normalcy since it has lot in existence in the country, number one, and the people of Andhra Pradesh have been suffering for the last five years due to the dictator rule of uh, um, Jagan Mohan Reddy. It is not, not only a, a democratic rule, it is a police raj and also factionism. Definitely we will uh, fight against the, uh, I mean, Moyasar Shippi, but our intention is not to fight, not to win. Our intention is not to divide the votes of the anti-government vote. That's why we have taken all opposition parties together. We, you know, we, without dividing the votes of uh, anti-establishment and anti-incumbency, that's why we have decided to fight against unity despite of uh, the situation that the TDP is able to contest lonely. But intention is not to divide the vote of the opposition.
While Mr. Chandrababu Naidu had aligned himself with the BJP party in 2000, uh, for the 2014 election, he cursed the BJP party in 2019 and came out of the alliance. And now, he, while in 2014 he said he is allying with the BJP party for the special status of Andhra Pradesh, after he became the chief minister, he changed his words and said there is nothing in the special status. Now again, after having cursed the BJP party, he is going again back to the same BJP party that he cursed in 2019. And my question to BJP party is, 10 years ago you promised the state of Andhra Pradesh, you came to Tirupati and promised the people of Andhra Pradesh that you will give us special status for 10 years. You have not given us even one year. Now 10 years has passed and you are still not fulfilling that promise. And people like YCP, the, the Jagan Mohan Reddy and TDP are allying with the same BJP party. My question to them is why? See, people who are clueless, directionless, visionless are the ones who are extending their support to BJP in Tamil Nadu. That's a uh, case, that's a scenario right now. And visionless, clueless, directionless so-called leaders might make big statements because they think that it's a matter of survival for them. So it's up to them to seek asylum in BJP. We have nothing to come out about it.